guys welcome to codocraft so today we'll discuss about some one very useful tool that uh, i feel like everybody should be knowing about it so when you are using mostly when you are developing mostly the front end or you are developing um, some of the applications you need to test the apis right so so you are you are you are let's say you are designing a small api or you are having a thousands of api so you need to every time you need to go to the postman and all, and do all those things right instead instead of doing all those things you can use a very small tool which will really be useful so to give that to show that to you guys i have just uh, created two apis one is a get api on the post api so get api is giving the whole details of this one this array and here it is returning some filtered data right so what i'll do is i'll just go here to the extension and i'll just search rest client okay once you search rest client you'll see some icon like this click on that i've already installed you can hit on the install button here once you will install it it will be available so once you have installed uh, so we'll just demonstrate with two uh, postman api so let me show you guys first so this is one having users all the users and this is one having some user did so this is having the request body as this one you name okay so the same thing we are going to use okay so here what i'll do is i'll just close this one i'll just get a new file request dot rest okay rest is the extension liquid dot rest so here you can see it's a blank file looks like a property file so here what you need to do is you just put get okay once you will put get you will see one send request button is coming right so here what i'll do is i'll just put http colon localhost slash users right that was our uh, get api users okay so if i'll hit this and hit the send request uh either the request service is not running so are you doing anything wrong okay we have not mentioned the port number 3000 then done this you will get the data so you saw that rest, the same response is coming up here whatever is there right so if you will see this is the response here the same response is coming here okay so let's say i have another post request so let me put post then i have i'll just copy paste it here and i have user did right so this is the post request user did okay so next is some header would be set uh, would be required right so content type is application json okay next is body so inside the body what i'll do is i have same body here you name the function so i'll just copy paste here or you can write it here as well okay so once this is done what i'll do is I'll just comment this guy. Once you comment, you can see send request has come to this one. I'll hit on the send request. Okay. So are we? The header name must be a valid HTTP token. Okay. So here you can see the data. Okay. So the 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 make sure that you have given this line. Okay. So this may be giving a uh, give an error there so you can just put this uh, and you can get the response so that will definitely help you when you are doing a development and you can delete this one once you are you don't require this okay so this is a very good tool to 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 miss out okay so thanks thanks a lot guys i uh, hope you will it will help you in your development